hi guys very good afternoon to all of you welcome to the video number 392 and uh, in this video today uh, I'm going to help uh, one of my subscribers and uh, he actually has written me an email which I'm just going to read it out for you but what we want to do is we want to use the VBA in auto populating the data validation list and this is going to be very exciting and from uh, I can bet many of you may not be uh, you know aware of this send keys in the VBA which are very very powerful but you always have to use them very cautiously right because so send keys are what basically whatever you press you know uh, the shortcut key you press in your using the keypad you know that can be also pressed by the VBA you don't have to really press use your hands right so this is going to be a phenomenal video so um, I want to thank you my subscriber uh, who written me this email obviously I'm very late in answering but you know but I have so many things to do compile the things your emails and comments and then you know see that how much time it is going to take for me to answer your queries so you know that depends so so yet actually has written this uh, and he even called me also uh, thank for my channel work and of course uh, you know discuss about this requirement and I found it you know very simple and at the same time very amazing as well so as I have already spoken with you over the phone I'm a new subscriber for the channel and your videos are very helpful to learn and I have one question Suppose in cell A1 we are trying letters and enter and then selection has gone to the cell B1. In the cell B1 has data validation list. When the selection changes which is in cell A1, the B1 data validation list has to open. Helping a lot of people, please help me. I'm eagerly waiting for this video. Okay. So now what he wants to do is, I'll show you what he wants to do. First of all, I have created here guys two data validations, right? Two simple data validations. Uh, if I just go ahead on India, at this you see that automatically popped up I didn't do anything right if I do any changes here see that it automatically reflects all the items that belongs to this USA country how do that now two things I want to be very crystal you know to clear uh, on that first of all if you don't know how to create the dynamic drop downs, I'm not talking about the Excel VBA, simple Excel skills. Please go ahead and first of all go and watch, uh, you know, one of my video on the uh, Excel uh, indirect. For those who are watching the channel for the first time, let me just show you. Basically, these are all the different playlist, 44 different playlists are, we have created, and these are all on the uh, MS Excel. MS Excel VBA, MS Access and Access VBA. So here you see that these are all the playlists and you need to find it out where is the Excel offset function and there is another playlist which is Excel indirect function. Not only you will understand about the indirect and the offset function but here when you click on that you can see here in the video number 366 it says that create a dynamic drop down. So this is exactly the same thing you know which I have done here. I've created the drop down so what happens if you see the manually if any time I do any changes in this drop down India what will happen this drop down also gets changed because in India we said that we need these the countries you know see uh, let us say uh, AT, CL and CC and these are I have created here basically this is a list I have created and for the USA I have created this list now uh, generally what happens let me show you basically what we have done uh, I go to the data let me quickly create it I will not explain the concept you can watch that video which I share uh, you know shared with you I created the list here and in the list I said that it has to be India and USA for example these are the two countries I'm gonna select them okay you can I mean create as many lists as you know uh, you want I just create here two now what I want is that when I select this particular identity this particular name India you know I should be able to see all these items coming here in the another drop down so what happens you create the drop down there you can put all the items in one drop down but that is something which we do not want to do we want that drop down should be there but it should automatically changes itself so what I have done is I basically selected this and I went to the formula and I created a selection and then I unchecked this and I created here okay I clicked here okay so what happens in your Excel this India will now refer to this you know CAT Cal and CC and if you select the USA it is going to select this range and then what we did is we simply get uh, you know again go to the data and in the data validation and I again inserted one list and I created here I'm just telling you the little background about it right I will not explain but indirect I you can use the indirect function because you said that 
whatever the user will select here that would come here in the form of the drop down okay so i just click here okay now when you select here india see what happens you have the india items coming here when you select something else uh, so i can't select here usa i'm not sure what what went wrong okay so i just actually have to use so i can write here india as well i think that it is somewhere else also used so i just write here india usa uh, no difference between you know the case sensitivity is not the issue but make sure your spelling should be correct so now you see that if i just show you uh, now this drop down is a dynamic drop down but the point is uh, if i change this to usa you see that the list comes here now if i come back here and i want to you know put use the india i come here and select i click here and i can see these items now what sayed actually wanted is that because the shortcut key to you know uh to see the items to to uh, show the items which are a part of this drop down you know to to uh pop up this i would say the drop down the shortcut key is the alt key and the down arrow key and this is how you know it gets auto populated right it gets visible so alt and the down arrow this is the shortcut key to basically you know to work with the this kind of a drop down what he wanted to do is he wanted to make this automated now if i do the same task here guys you see that i'm not going to press alt and down arrow i i will not go anywhere i just do this and automate it showing me all the results and this is what i was doing here you know the manually because when i select usa i have to go here to see what items i have through the programming we have been able to do it automatically and this is what actually you know sayed wanted so let us see how i did that now the first thing which you which you uh, should know is uh, i have written in the sheet 1 code i go to the visual basic and here in the sheet 1 this is the code which i have written right now guys if you don't uh, so what we have done we have created an event and the event name is worksheet change how this event comes while well, you select this worksheet and then from here you select this change okay now change means that any point in time if there is any change which happens in the cell this macro will fire automatically right i have talked about this in my previous video as well and the video number is a 391 where i talked about how to crack the vba interviews and there i think there, there was a one question uh, which talked about what is the difference between writing the uh macros in these sheets and in these modules so in the modules whatever you write that becomes your standard macro you cannot uh, run them you know basis some condition i mean uh, in the module what you write uh you you unless click on the button that macro will never run for you so you have a full control but here they are all the condition based macros any time if the sheet change happens sheet change happens means that any time if cell value is going to be changed this macro will run but the point is i don't want to run this macro everywhere for example we put the break code here if i write here u you know that the cell was empty and now i have changed the value from 0 to u so automatically what will happen this macro will trigger but i don't want to do anything and that is why i have used a condition if my target address is going to be d11 which is this d11 now target is a vba word okay when you write here target you will not be able to see this target in the modules this is specifically you know uh, designed for these sheets and this workbook event so here you can activate the target you can find the address as well you know so that's what i have done target means that which cell i'm going to target so i'm saying that if the target address is going to be d11 and you know that target actually is not d11 but it was d17 because in the d17 i or root u so it is not d11 so what happens it goes go in the else mode and there from there the macro will stop and you will not see any changes so if i just remove this macro runs immediately for example i'm going to change this u to y so that even will run but you will not be able to see that because now and you know you know macro runs in seconds but this macro you no know, run every time as long as you're on the sheet 1 i have not written this macro in this workbook okay so what i'm doing is just in case if i put the break code here again what i'm going to do if i just select this usa see that first of all my target is now what it is d11 because i did the changes in the d11 so that means the condition is going to satisfy now the moment the condition is going to satisfy what will happen from the target i will offset myself i will move myself 
the same row that is why I have written here 0 but to a different column which is 1 which means this is a 0 this is a 1 so it comes here now one once it comes here you know what is the shortcut key we use to press alt down arrow so for the alt the percentage sign you have to write and the down you have to write in the curly kit and then you know this will run you will have your basically the key coming here in this way right when i will show you in the f5 mode will work let me just increase the size of this so guys you can also do one thing uh, not only this send key you can do a lot of other things as well for example if you want to press uh, control shift right arrow or you want to press control send whatever right we have the shortcut keys what you need to do is I just select this or maybe you can google it or maybe you just press F1 here and it, it is going to take you to the VBA help and then you can see that the different different formats coming from the send keys. Send keys means that the VBA will send these keys for you. VBA will action on these keys. Now the percentage sign basically is for the alt key. So I think I am not able to get a link here. Um, so thought uh, but that's fine uh, I can google it and I can show you so you can write here send keys in, you know VBA just write in this and you will get to see you know, I mean any, any example this link I can pick up from the Microsoft so if you just see this this is very interesting and very powerful so now you would see here a list of send keys that's the correct link you can see here on the backspace you can write curly package backspace or BS the break you write like this for the clear you write like this for the down arrow you see that this is what exactly i have written right now, if you just further go ahead and scroll it down you will find here all the video you know the different combination for the shift the sign is there for the control this carrot sign is there for the alt this percentage sign is there so if somebody is going to write application dot send this percentage fx what does that mean percentage means that it's for the alt key so alt then the combination of alt what what is the another key I'm gonna use so F you will have to search for the F and you will have to search for the X as well right so I mean this is how basically you can go ahead and search all the things and you know macro is going to uh, work in that way so if you want to press enter you can write like this send keys and then enter this is the enter so your PBA will press the end for you so these are very very powerful right? See here, you can also specify the keys combined with Shift, Control, and Alt. To specify a key com combined with another key, this is the following table. So they have, you know, given all the description. That's the same way I have done that. Shortcut key is Alt down arrow. So for the Alt key, I know send key is percentage, and then in the curly bracket, I have to write down, put it within the quotes, and that's it. Got done, guys. Okay, so. If I just go ahead and change this to India, you see that it goes in this cell and then it's alt down arrow. Very simple. Okay. Now this is not going to be uh, you know applicable here if you create it because I've written this code in this sheet. Okay. If you have to make it everywhere available, then I would suggest you to write the same code in this workbook. You can pick up the workbook from here and you can write. You can change the event here from here. This event. Uh, let me just first select the workbook and then just a second uh, basically uh, you know uh, one, one thing which I uh, want to tell you that uh, you should not do that when you can change this uh, uh, you know sheet change from here and you can create that anytime the change happens in the sheet this will run but then you will have to give a lot of targets because everywhere you know the target would be different so better plan for every sheet one by one go in the sheet module and then do that right so this is how guys you can create this pretty awesome very small macro but yet very powerful i hope you like this and uh, thank you so much for giving me this such a wonderful question and uh, hopefully it will solve your purpose as well so that's it for now guys and uh, do subscribe to the channel to support me and we're gonna come back and we're gonna talk something else again thank you so much